lots of illegal logging have sparked concern about environmental threats, the safety of residents, and the future of Enugu's finest tourist attractions. In this report, we assess the emerging threats as this logging culture seems to continue. Take a look. The sound of their axes and cutlasses accompanied by rustling leaves was our cue to stop. We were soon to bear witness to what has always been a global threat to forest resources. The activities of illegal loggers and in cases beyond this report, building on green zones. Enugu's Milliken Hill is turning into a gold mine for illegal loggers who, at an alarming rate, are reading the plush greenery and trees of their beauty and environmental benefits. Ironically, this gold mine has nothing to do with nearby mines, but to these loggers, it is a site for rare gems, these fine trees. Their quest for firewood, charcoal and trade continues at the expense of humanity. The continued deforestation of locations like Milliken Hill, despite the risks, can only be linked on one side to hardship and poverty, and on another, ignorance about its dangers, experts say. Residents who spoke off-camera blamed loggers from Ungwo for the trend. However, this does not vindicate others who are knowingly or unknowingly benefiting from their activities. This vendor says she obtained her logs from Ezago and Nike. She sells this batch for 500 naira, while the smaller pieces of wood go for about 300 naira per batch. As she sorts out her goods, she remarks that the business is profitable. A conversation with her revealed her possible lack of awareness is associated with her stock in trade. The acting director of the Forestry Commission in Inugu, Mr. Basil Okafo, shares the true picture of the illegal business and why people indulge in it. Uh, what really happened there, like sometime last, uh, last week, the Honorable Commissioner informed me about that some people out there, there's some trees are being caught there. I went there for inspection, but I didn't see anybody there. Do you understand? But it is very bad that such a thing is happening there. Do you understand? Because sometimes the effect of uh, cutting trees, like, uh, you know, the, the, the effect with how the climate, climate change, and the soil erosion, uh, uh, the desertification, and the rest of them. Do you understand me? So it is much. What is what happening there is, is, I, I, is still bad. And I learned that people are doing that, they don't do it at night. Do you understand? So it's too bad. It's not encouraging. And we, we have to make our unnecessary arrangements to make sure the corporates are, are, are brought to book. Previous reports reveal that warnings against this trend have preceded this administration. However, the business continues. So there's no, there's no area. It's prohibited. You don't, you, we, we, if you don't give your license to cut trees, you don't do it. Do you understand me? So it is whenever that is doing it. It is illegal, and if you are caught, you, 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 you brought a book. The question remains, can the felling of trees ever be stopped? In Enugu, Nathalie Uko, reporting for Afia TV.